Hello friends, going forward I will upload video in podcast format. Here in minimum time I can give you maximum relevant topics. Please listen till end you might learn something new. Here I have discussed on 1. How to define variables 2. Classification of variables 3. Data measurement scales of variable 4. Syntax for creating table in A. SQL B. SAS C. Python How to define variables The defining variable is the first process of any analytics activity. To define a variable, you need to understand the objective. You should ask a question to yourself why are you doing this activity? For example, it is maybe you want to predict the probability of sell of one specific product. Or maybe you want to know who similar kind of customers, who can take your product. Basically, you want to find your target audience to sell your product. Or maybe based on you want to predict the next day's stock price based on past data. Or you may want to predict next quarter sales based on past data. Or which are products people purchasing together or you want to build one analytics report etc. After understanding the objective or problem statement. You need to break it to KP, key parameters. Say for example, if you want to build up the model on sales to the customer then your key parameter may be customer demography, customer purchase history and sequences, maybe customers transaction data etc. But again it depends on your objectives. Then you need to classify a variable by types. When you define a variable, then you need to classify the variable as being either categorical or numerical. Categorical variables are also known as qualitative variables, which take categories as their values. Numerical variables also are known as quantitative variables, which have values that represent a counted or measured quantity. This classification is very much essential. Some models only support one type of the variable and some support mixture of both the types. Categorical variables Categorical variables take on values that are names or labels. The color of a pencil, for example, red, green, blue, or the breed of a dog, for example, collie, shepherd, terrier, would be examples of categorical variables. Can take the form of yes and no questions such as had you purchased this product? The answer is yes or no right. This is also one type of categorical variable. Numerical variables. The operational definitions of numerical variables are affected by whether the variable being defined is discrete or continues. Discrete variables, are numbers that comes from counting processes like number of item sales or how many balls in this basket. Continuous variables, have numerical values that arise from a measuring process and those values depend on the precision of the measuring instrument used. For example, time spent for one activity. It could be 2, 2.1, 2.15, or 2.158 minutes. Data Measurement Scales there are four measurement scales used in the statistical analysis of data. Nominal Ordinal Interval Ratio Nominal data, numbers are used to labeling an item or characteristic. Categorization is the main purpose of this measurement. Various brand of product, credit card number, customer identification number, etc. Nominal data are also called categorical data. Ordinal or rank data, number are used to rank objects or attributes such as excellent, good, fair and poor like bronze, silver, gold, diamond, platinum. In ordinal data distance between objects or rank cannot be measured. Interval data, if you have data with ordinal properties and can also measure the distance between objects or ranks, you have an interval measurement. Interval data examples 1. Time of each day and the meaning of a 12-hour clock. 2. Temperature, in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, but not Kelvin. 3. IQ test, intelligence scale. 4. Test scores such as the SAT and ACT test scores. 5. Age is also a variable that is measurable on an interval scale, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years etc. 6. Measuring an income is a range, like $0.999, $1000, $1999, $2000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000,
In marketing research, if we ask two people how much time do they spend reading a magazine each day, we would know not only who spends more time reading but also the exact difference in minutes, or another time interval, between the two individuals. 10. Grade levels in a school, first grader, second grader, etc. This example is taken from www.intelspot.com. Ratio data, it is the highest level of measurement that has the requisite desirable properties and allows you to perform all basic arithmetic operations. Data measured in ratio scale have a fixed zero point. For example, it includes business data such as cost, revenue, market share, and profit. As you are selecting variables for analytical activities, so I am explaining to you over here how you can select variables and create table in SQL, SAS and Python. If data is small then you can analyze data in Excel as well. SQL Syntax Select column 1, column 2 From table underscore name Select from table underscore name Select customer name, city from customers Create table table underscore name Column 1 data type Column 2 data type Column 3 data type Semicolon Create table persons Person ID and Last name Varchar 255 First name Varchar 255 Address Varchar 255 City Varchar 255 Semicolon Create table new underscore table underscore name as Select column 1, column 2 From existing underscore table underscore name Where Create table test table as Select customer name, contact name From customers this syntax I have taken from westcalls.com. For beginners, this is one of the very good websites to start coding. SQL syntax I have taken from westcalls.com. For beginners, this is one of the very good websites to start coding. Now here I have given one example how to create table in SAS. You should use proc SQL command for this. Proc SQL out of equals 10. Title densities of countries. Create table SQL. In cities as select name country format $15, population format equals comma 10.0, area as square miles, population slash area format equals 6.2 as density from SQL. Countries. Select from SQL. In cities, this piece code has been taken from https colon slash slash documentation dot sas dot com slash. Creating a table to create a table in MySQL, use the create table statement. Take sure you define the name of a database when you create the connection example create a table named customers, import MySQL.connector. Mib equals MySQL.connector. Connect host equals localhost, user equals your username, password equals your password, database equals mid database. My cursor equals mid.cursor. My cursor execute create table customers, name varchar255, address varchar255. I have taken this piece of code from https colon slash slash www.w3schools.com slash you can use this website to learn basic coding.